my stepson Randy Schatz, and he was just happy as a peach, living his life to the fullest right up to the end when he died naturally of polio at the age of seven. I swear he didn't regret it for a minute. He told me so on his deathbed. Mama, name a casserole after me. And I said, well, hell, of course, Randy, you sweet little angel. Bless your heart. And I did. I called it Cripple's Crock-Pot. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's OK? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we got to go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on. You're driving us up to the bank. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. 
All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this AC bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Uh, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. It's common hipster affliction. Why, well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon? The skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. You're trying to wind me up, but I'm very, very angry, and I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. I've made my point. I'm not a sadist. Bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? <sighs> Come on, man. Knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mike will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. Okay, let's take a look at this bank. And we'll 
go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. Uh, take us around back. Okay. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. And we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby, and it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're st still faster than your ass. I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. Hey! What's
Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <laughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Uh, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. He handled himself at the jewelry store. You sure this is the guy? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm? you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I'll get a motel, thanks. All right, to the shop. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Mm? Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. I was staying at a motel. <laughs>